Welcome, it's, it's time for another episode of Resident Evil Village. Hopefully, this time, I can get this done right. If I can find my way around this place. So, gotta go to this part, duck through here, get over here, go down. <clears throat> Through this door, go up this deactivated lift. Which is, I always have to remember it's the left path. We go up to the top here. Praying that nothing stupid happens. Because on hindsight, I've played this game very poorly over time. But in all honesty, part of that has to do with the fact I've never played this game before. <laughs> this game has a lot of confusing things in it that I'm not used to. So that's part of it. So there's two ways to go about this. And there's that area that sucks you in. I don't think we need to do that again. Let's crouch through the the duck worth at work again. Pick up some gunpowder. Pick up the ball mold. That shockingly doesn't work. Well, there's a locked door up here. I mean, it does have something to do with the ventilation duct after all. Getting out of here is um, a nightmare, to say the least. I don't even know how I found Heisenberg. <laughs> to be honest. 
How I found him in the first place. All I know for sure is that I found him somewhere up in the grinder shaft. Do we have Heisenberg's key? That's the real question. like an entirely different part of the factory. That's what I'd like to know. I believe we are. Save here. Because we've got our checkpoint. All right. This has to be it. You really are a tough one. But I'm tired of chit chat. Time to die. You can hear it, can't you? Come wait. Alright. It's time to fight this thing. That thing's still alive!
Please tell me it's dead. Now stay down. Please. Thank you. Did it. Now. I think we gotta go to the cargo bay, right? Cigar. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bounds. We're merely a bunch of failed Cadeau experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to this stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. The crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Mega Mycetes. The trick is that brat Rose, if I can access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dead Ethan is a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe you could get him to help me out. Ha. At least that thing's out of the way. <clears throat> Let's, uh... Let's uh, get these ingredients, shall we? We are way up in the factory, man. <sighs> Madness. Where are we going?
Okay. Bunch of chunk. What the? What the? Whoa, metal pipes going everywhere. Not bad, not bad, Rangers. Not bad. You're persistent. persistent. But I've got a rebellion too. So stay out of my way. What the hell? <laughs> Again? <sighs> so he's the boss. But where does that lead me? Oh, we're about to find out. I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Civilians. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. An explanation. Hand me that wrench. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> We'll stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. 
All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. Wow. What? Can't turn back now. Well then, the truth at last. The truth about what Chris Redfield really was has finally been revealed. The motivation. Because as it turns out, as it turns out, Mother Miranda is not what she looks like. That was one of the biggest surprises I've ever seen in the game so far. <laughs> 